Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the chafing dish of 1912, we're going to be making the banana sandwich with mayonnaise. Now, uh, a lot of folks think that the banana and mayonnaise sandwich originated out of the South in the Great Depression, but 1912, just saying. First thing we have to do is add a little cream to some cream cheese to make it spreadable. It does not say how much, so hopefully that's the amount. Not that cream cheese isn't spreadable if you leave it out at room temperature, but what do I know? I'm not the chafing dish. Now we put that onto our bread. Now we're going to take slices of bananas that are ice cold and dip them in mayonnaise and put onto our bread. Okay, let's give this banana sandwich with mayonnaise a go. It's pretty rich. <laughs> Between the cream cheese, the cream, and the mayonnaise. But, as I've said before, the mayonnaise just sort of is there to bring a little richness, as is the cream cheese. So it's making this sort of like a luxurious banana sandwich. I think it's tasty. I like it but I do want to plus it up. I'm going to use some of this Ras Al Hanout seasoning blend. This seasoning blend uh, varies depending on who makes it. So it's got a lot of warm spices in it, some uh, chili pepper, some coriander seed, cardamom, cumin, clove. So I think it's going to be kind of interesting with this sandwich. Okay, let's give this banana sandwich with mayonnaise plus up with the Ras Al Hanout seasoning blend. Go. Yeah, the, the seasoning blend with those warm spices is playing off the banana really nicely. And it's playing off the cream cheese and the mayonnaise. And it's just bringing a nice kind of sweet savory element to the sandwich. I'm digging this. All right, so the original banana sandwich with mayonnaise, uh, it was tasty. I don't think you necessarily need to dip the banana slices in mayonnaise. You could just put mayonnaise on the other side of the bread. And then anyway, uh, it was tasty. I thought it was good. I'm going to give that, I'm going to give that a seven. Yep. Plus up with the Ras Al Hanout seasoning blend. I'm going to give that a seven and a half. This definitely could have gone in more of a, a sweet direction with a little bit of cinnamon and maybe some brown sugar or something like that. Um, and it would still work because the mayonnaise is pretty neutral and the cream cheese is somewhat neutral. But I decided to take it in a more sweet and savory route with the Ras Al Hanout seasoning blend and I have no regrets. All right, I'm going to finish this. Um, I don't know if I make this again. It's pretty rich, but it is pretty tasty. Hmm, who knows? All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.